So I am 100% confident in saying that I am copying someone else's video. Um, there is someone, she works for BuzzFeed, I can't remember her name. She did a living with a week with endometriosis and I figured that I was going to start it today. Today is Tuesday, my surgery is scheduled for Friday, so I'm hoping to end it next Tuesday, next Wednesday. Um, and I want to film every single day a week of having this endo. Um, so right now it is 10.37, I've been up for about three hours and I have pain in varying parts of my body. The most notable pain right now is I have pain in my right hip. Um, I've had this pain for about three or four days. I don't know if we're in a low pressure system and that's why I'm having this pain or if it's endo related. Um, but I have this great pain in my hip, cannot extend my right leg fully, can't really walk like a normal person, but oh well. And then later today I am supposed to go visit my boyfriend's grandmother and get ice cream with her so I will check in after typically ice cream gets me pretty bloated and makes me pretty uncomfortable um worth it it's 100% worth it I I love ice cream more than anything but um hopefully it won't be too bad today as I have like six hours of work I have to muscle throw um but if it is oh well she's my cat she likes to make things better by kneading exactly where it hurts and if you don't know what kneading is it's what she's doing with her paws right now um she's also a 20 pound cat so she's not skinny you're not skinny no you're not and she likes to sit and put her full weight on whatever part of my body is hurting and she wants to so i have not actually gone for ice cream yet i decided i wanted to have a couple samoas it is now 12 30. uh last time i checked in was like 10 ish um I think the Samoas that I ate really just messed with me because now I have cramps. And my pain really sucks. I just kind of want to curl into a ball for the rest of the day. Um, so it is close to 11 p.m. So it's been quite some time since I last checked in. I am very, very, very uncomfortable. Like, extremely uncomfortable. Um, I'm super bloated. I feel like I look about four or five months pregnant. Um, it literally feels like someone is, and the best way to describe this is like pressing on my skin and like trying to make it stick out. Um, my skin, uh, when I get bloated like this, my skin has a tendency to start to itch, kind of like I am pregnant. Um, on top of that, there's like some cramping, but it's not cramping in my uterus, it's cramping in my bladder, which is highly uncomfortable, and that it's just, I cannot get comfortable. So this isn't, like I'm in a hella pain, it's just I'm very, very, very uncomfortable. Um, on days like this, I take a body pillow and I sleep with the body pillow, I kind of use it like you would use a pregnancy pillow to kind of support my belly. Um, it just makes it a lot easier since I can't lay on my stomach. I can't lay really on my side because of like just how the bloating is. So I just use the pillow, um, which really helps. And I'm not, I, I honestly, I cannot sleep on my back. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Overall today wasn't super horrible. I wasn't bedridden, which was great, but um, who knows, I probably will be sometime this week. Um, yeah. All right. So I just woke up, it is eight-ish. Um, I have school today, I have some stuff I have to do. Um, overall, the pain's not bad, it's definitely there. It's like a dull pain, but I don't wanna like, keel over and cry all day so that's good definitely still bloated from last night um but i have a feeling it's gonna go away today like throughout the day um but who knows try to check in in a couple hours so i was way off i actually am supposed to be at a photo shoot shortly i don't want to leave my bed now um the pain has kind of progressed it feels like i have period cramps um, 
but the kind that makes you stay in bed for a couple days. Um, really just want to stay in fetal position. I have a photo shoot to get to and then I have to go to school. And then I'm supposed to help one of my friends uh, clean their house. So it's going to be a long day. Especially with the pain I'm in. Let's hope for the best. So it is 8 p.m. Um, I have not checked in in a very long time. So I filmed a video and I was really fine filming the video. I took a shower and I got... I did some yoga, which I think I'm filmed about. After the yoga, I got really bloated, like incredibly, like three months pregnant bloated, um, which was fine. I was just bloated. I wasn't uncomfortable. I wasn't in pain, but I got severe fatigue. Um, and so I took a nap. The issue is it is now eight o'clock. I just woke up from my nap and I'm still super tired. I'm making dinner right now. Um, but you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay up until like midnight or so. So that way I can try and go to sleep and wake up kind of late since my surgery is scheduled for almost 3 PM. I don't want to go that whole time without eating since I can't eat anything after midnight. So I'm going to try and sleep as late as I can. So today is Friday. It is the day that I get my surgery done. I have some minor cramping. I'm also like really nervous and I have like anxiety, like butterflies in my stomach or whatever you want to call them. Um, but overall, I'm not in excruciating pain, but we'll see once the surgery's over and we'll officially get my diagnosis. Right, so it is around 10 p.m. ish. Um, I got out of surgery about mm, three, four hours ago. Um, I'm finally been able to like sit down and film. I'm laying down obviously. I have a heating pad on. Um, overall, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm a little sore. I'm in a little. I'm a little bit uncomfortable. There's some pain, as as is expected. Uh, I had really bad gas pain before, where it was like up in my shoulders. I took a Tylenol and now it's gone. I don't know if it's related to me taking a Tylenol or me walking around. Um, it feels like I have cramps. Um, they're not super, super horrible. Like I said, I just kind of have a heating pad on, which is definitely helping. And I am so incredibly bloated. I look about four months, three or four months pregnant, which is fine. Um, it's just, like I said, a little uncomfortable. Uh, they officially did diagnose me with endometriosis. They found it. They found lesions. Um, I'm currently a stage one, which thank God they found it and caught it early. Um, they removed as much as they possibly could, and they are going to let me know, obviously, in my post-op appointment, uh, how it went. So I'm probably going to continue this, like, vlog to my post-op and let everybody know how my post-op went. So I just woke up, it's 8.30. My throat still hurts a little bit, I don't know if that's from intubation or what. But, um, right now I'm just really, really sore, I have a lot of gas pain in my shoulders. I'd prefer to be laying on my side right now, but I can't, um... As my shoulders hurt so much when I do that, like, I want to cry in pain. Uh, I'm still bloated, and like I said, I'm still just sore, but I'm not in excruciating pain. Well, my shoulders hurt a lot, but other than that. So, it is, like, 10.30 at night. Um, I know I haven't checked in in a while. I have to keep my cables up here, because otherwise I can't charge any of my electronics. Um, so I was had a heating patch on just about all day. My boyfriend came over, and that was fine. He was helping me around, a little bit around. I took a shower today, which was awesome. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that just because of, like, everything that's going on with my abdomen. I cannot sit up, though. Like, I need somebody else to help me sit up because I was told not to use my abdominal muscles, and it's really hard for me to go from laying down like this to then sitting. So I'll have to call somebody. Um... Let's see what else what else what else what else oh I also discovered that today I cannot laugh I am incapable of laughing not because like I can't laugh <clears throat> it hurts a lot I was texting uh, one of my professors and she said something that made me laugh like really hard and I and it hurt so bad to laugh but I couldn't help myself um it also really hurts to cough um, but burping 
feels really good because of all the gas that's trapped in my body. I guess when I burp, some of it releases, and it is awesome. Um, I have these, like, stabbing pains, like, nerve pains in my shoulders, and it just honestly, it feels like my nerve is going on the fritz. Um, it's a little steady, steady. I'm sure I'll be fine and it'll go away, but I cannot, I can no longer lay on my side. Like, last night, I slept on my side how I normally would sleep. Um, I had to take a nap earlier today. I was really, really tired, and I could not sleep on my side because, again, it hurt too much. So, we're hoping that, um, I'll be able to sleep on my side again, but... Um, the recovery though, so far is so good. I mean, it's only been a day out of surgery, but I don't feel horrible. I mean, I feel like I got hit by a truck, but I don't feel like I'm going to die any second now and I'm not like vomiting or anything. So, um, I'm not in too, too much pain either. It hurts more when I do certain things. Um, like laughing after I laughed, I cried because I was in so much pain, but, um, overall I want to say it's not this recovery doesn't feel horrible. I think my ankle was a little bit worse when I got surgery on that. So, yeah, um, I will check in with you guys in the morning and let so you know. So, it is about 8.30. I am super tired. I have a killer headache. I'm not even home right now at my boyfriend's house. Um, I have horrible gas pains again. And, but overall, I'm not in a lot of pain. But now it's like whenever I burp, um, which is something I've been doing a lot because of the excess buildup of gas. I can kind of feel my diaphragm like clicking and it's not the most comfortable thing. Um, I think some of my bloating's gone down and I'm still a bit tender, but overall not bad. So today is weird. Um, I woke up, I was in no pain. I've probably been up for about two hours now. Uh, it's around 1, in the, 1 p.m. Um, for the last hour and a half though, I had really bad gas pain, like right below my ribs, like right there. Um, but I'm moving normal. Um, other than the gas pain, which literally felt like my sides were getting ripped apart, um, I feel pretty good. I have like a super minor headache, but I don't know if that has to do with the surgery or if that's just because like I slept weird, I don't know. Um, the headache's nothing serious. It's not like, oh, I can't focus. Um, I'm actually doing schoolwork right now, so I'm feeling pretty good since I'm feeling up to doing that. And uh, hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, I'm not really in a whole lot of pain, uh, like I said, other than the gas pain. It's I don't have any cramping right now, which is awesome. Um, and I'm really, really hopeful that the surgery has helped fix me since I'm not in excruciating pain right now. So, yay. So, it is Tuesday and we are four days post-op. I feel like shit today. Uh, I have an eye doctor's appointment that I have to go to. Um... I feel like it kind of took a divot in my recovery. Uh, it took me a little bit to put pants on this morning. I thought I was going to have to call my boyfriend and see if he was going to help me. Um, don't feel good. I mean, I literally the only thing I can think of is I kind of had a dream last night where I was like really active in my dream and I might have been, you know, kind of active, like kicking or like twisting and turning, like actually. Um, and I think that might have, I, um, that's the only thing I can think of. My guess is that kind of triggered something. So I'm in excruciating pain today. I'm probably going to actually have to take the, um, what's the medication, the, the narcotic that they gave me. The, um, I'm really hoping I don't have to. I'm just going to take some Motrin and see if I can power through this. So it is Wednesday, um, five days after surgery. And I think today is probably going to be one of the worst days of my recovery. I am significantly bruised to the point where I'm going to say about two, three inches circum yeah, sur uh, surrounding the uh, immediate area of the incision sites are pretty bruised. Um, there's an entire side of my body that has like these weird splotchy bruises and um, it's the left side of my body, right side of my body and it's bizarre because it, there's parts that don't feel bruised, that don't look bruised but they feel bruised and the parts that are bruised don't feel bruised so I don't know and it's on the side of my body that I'm going to sleep on tonight so I don't know how I'm going to be really able to deal with it. Um, like I, I don't think I said this, I haven't checked in all day. It is close to 10 p.m. 
Um, I kind of did a lot today. I went to my EMS squad building to put myself on medical leave because um, I hadn't been feeling up to doing it um, up until today. So I was finally able to go and put myself on a leave. And then uh, I hung out with the squad members. Sorry, I hung out with the squad members and we actually ended up walking around the mall a little bit. Which was not the best choice because I ended up needing to sit down a few times, but you know, whatever. Oh well, and uh, it kind of hurts to sit. Like how I'm sitting right now, this is really painful. Just straight up having my stomach like hinged that much, it hurts. Um, having my stomach really resting on anything. The good news is the bloating is almost completely down. I'm gonna say I'm probably still a little bit bloated, but not to the extent that I was, um, where it was uncomfortable. It's no longer really uncomfortable. I feel relatively normal. I am a little bit gassier than usual, so I'm still burping and farting a little bit more, but I'm not to the point where it, I'm like doing it every five seconds like I was before, so. Yeah, so, so far I feel like I'm healing pretty well, um, and I am pretty sore, and honestly it's more of the soreness than the pain. Um, I'm not having to take any of the narcotics I was given, um, but like I said, it's more sore, it's not pain. So hopefully that's a good sign and I won't be so sore. So now. it is Thursday, six days after surgery. Um, I feel like shit. I feel like somebody scooped my organs out of my body and then just threw them back in without like knowing where or where they go. Or, like, if they even belong. And, like, they probably fell on the floor, so there's, like, cat hair on it. And then everything was shoved back in. And it sucks. It sucks. I am so tired. And yesterday, I developed a UTI. And the antibiotics that I'm on make me so nauseous. So I haven't really eaten anything today with the exception of like crackers and like maybe a couple sips of ginger ale, but mostly just water. And we don't have any ginger tea in my house, which normally helps like soothe this kind of an issue for me. So I can't even like drink that and I just want to sleep, but I can't lay on my side. It sucks. I'm probably going to have tomorrow be the last video um of this for, like last clip of this video because honestly I feel like I'm just complaining into my camera and yeah but everything kind of sucks so yay I totally forgot to take a video the other day it is around noon on Sunday I actually kind of sort of just woke up um Honestly, pain hasn't been so bad since I've, like, last checked it in. Um, I'm just itchy and a little sore on one side of my body. Um, some slight cramping, like, here and there, but it's nothing horrible. Um, yeah, that's really, that's really it. Um, recovery wasn't super fun, um, but it hasn't been super horrible now. So I'm just kind of hoping that I keep this. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. It's like going uphill, like this ease or downhill. I just really hope it stays this easy. There.